what is our parameters? Today we have auto velvet working on latent in their runner. We'll be fitting a Velocity Kevlar bolt at 10.5 gram rollers, which is the one that we put in your previous video. A little too light, revving out too much. If you haven't checked that one out, check it out in the links down below. Otherwise, let's get into it. So firstly we've got the Melossi Kevlar belt, this is a much better belt, it runs at a 28 degree angle so it suits the variator much much better than a stock one. Clayton's one has currently got a stock Piaggio belt in there anyway. And then like we said in the previous video we were going to test out everything so these are the 10.5 gram rollers, it's probably going to be a bit better for the bike, the bike seems to be over revving a bit so we'll be installing that. And then we've got some awesome stuff to unbox. We've got it from Stage 6 SRA Motor Force, some awesome parts, so we'll check that out as well. So first up, we've got these awesome Stage 6 mirrors. These are the carbon edition ones. This will be going directly to Italjet, hopefully being put onto one of the Velocity Italjets. One thing with these is it comes with the M8 mil thread. We have to get the adapter, which is somewhere in here. Here's the adapter. This takes it from an M8 to an M10, which will fit most of your Piaggio brands. Next, we've got an STRA handlebar set. We've got a few still in stock. This was just an extra one. This is a black one. You can see the STRA right there. And along with those, we've got the two bar stems, a black one and a white one. Then we've got some awesome stage 6 variator weights. These are different weights. This will fit your Melossi variator for the BWS. And that's a 19 by 15.5 roller. And this is a 6.5, 7.5, 8.5 and 9.5 gram roller set. So this is available on our website. Also got some awesome V-Force 3 V-Blocks. This will fit your Minarelli motor. This is basically very similar to a VR14, but this is stage 6 V-Force 3 V-Blocks. This is the eight petals versus the Velocis four. Got a whole bunch of ignition coils, like we've said in our other video, which you can check in the link down below, where we've installed one of these on a BWS. This makes your spark plug run a lot smoother and cleaner. It basically increases your voltage from 16,000 volts to 30,000 volts, giving it a clean, even burn. Also just got a couple screws to test. So we'll be testing these out. These are aluminium anodized color screws for the Minarelli motor. So this will fit a BWS. We've got standard silver, the anodized blue, and the an anodized red. Also got some awesome oil screw caps. This is anodized blue and anodized red. This will fit right at the end of your motor where you fill up your gear oil. So if you're looking to just fling up your bike, these are quite a little cheap way to make them just pop. Got a stock replacement of a shock. This is a Motorforce OEM replacement red shock. Uh, it does have adjustability unlike the stock BWS shock, but this one is in red. We were out of stock with the red for a little while. We do have the black also in stock. So if you are interested, check that out on the website. And finally, you've seen this shock before in the video where we installed the Motorforce ignition coil. The awesome SIE. Quite beautiful one, it's got the gold with the white. Uh, we've installed this on that red meter there, so check that out. Cool, so that's it for the order. So let's get into stripping down Clayton's drive and installing that bolt and rollers. Check it out. So if you remember, we put the variator, the Melossi variator in the last video, it's got a PM tuning front and clutch and clutch belt with the cooling fins. So we're gonna take this off now and install the new belt and the rollers. So we got the variator out, you can see these are the 
7.2 gram rollers oh it's a bit worn these are the 7.2 gram rollers we put in the previous video a lot of people in the comments have been saying we should run with a heavier weight so a lot of you have been giving some great comments in the previous video about the rollers obviously being too light so one of them has been stan from african buzz if you want to check out his links it will be down in the description below he is the original builder of this scooter for the previous owner all the pm tuning parts all the suspension front and rear brakes he did all of that for free, so, so give him some love in the description down below. But let's get into putting these new rollers in and the belt. So this is a stock Piaggio belt. It says Piaggio there. Let's see how it compares to the Melossi belt. Nice brand new Melossi belt. Check how much thicker that is. Check how much thicker that is. This belt is hopefully going to get all the way to the end of the variator so you get your tallest gear in. Um, so let's do that. So always run the name facing outwards like this, so you can always read it and you can see the sizes. Just good practice. assembled everything we put a bit of a, a permanent marker mark all the way up to see where the bolt's riding and it's definitely riding all the way up which is good so this bolt's getting the top gearing we did ride it now with the 10.5 and it's a little bit sluggish so what we can do is we're gonna run three 10.5s and three nines and we'll see how that goes so these are the the warm rollers that have come out we've now just put in three and three we've, we've staggered them and we put three rollers of 9 gram and three of 10.5 gram. So we're going to see how that pulls and check it out. So what we've been doing now is test riding the rollers between the 9 gram, the 10.5 and mixing and matching 3 and 3. With the belt being thicker, I mean that's changed the gearing now, riding it all the way to the end. So if you think of the belt being wider, it's now able to start in a higher gear in the front variator. So now it feels a lot more different. So we were playing around with that. But while we were doing that, it's kind of been doing it for a little while, right? And, and when you open up the throttle, especially now where we've both ridden on the highway, it's starting to sort of run a bit lean, you know, it's starting to get a bit of a ping. And I'm very familiar with the BWS is doing that, but obviously that is a sign that you're either running out of lubrication, it's getting a bit hot. We went up in temperature, we shot up to somewhere around yeah. 76, 77. Which is a very, very high for a two stroke, it should be running yeah. quite, quite low. Yeah. So what we did was, we <laughs> took out the slide, yeah. and what we've done now is we just pulled the needle up by yeah. one notch. Yeah. So. This is kind of a temporary fix. We spoke about it. We're probably going to go bigger with the jetting rather and, and play around with that. So we'll Safely do that, go that way. much Safely safer, go with the much jetting. safer. Spoke to uh, Adrian, he recommended rather just go maybe one up on the jet. 
uh, because when you start playing around with those up and down settings, it's not really the way you want to do it. Yeah. You know, um, especially not on the 180 cc. It really revs up there into the top. Yeah. You know, so we want to try and get that a bit clean. I'm going to take it for another run anyway now and just have a look and see see where I can close it off, but I'm definitely going to bring it to John and AJ to sort out the last little fine tweaking. Best so, for now to just ride it yeah. out of that range. So obviously yeah. you have to get home today, but Clayton's going to bring it to us. We're going to be fitting a different jet. We're hopefully fitting the RPM sensor yeah. and we'll be probably changing the plug as well. It's running a BR9. Nine. Yeah, it's a so plug. it is a quite a cool plug yeah. already, yeah. but it's quite an old one, so we'll be changing that as well. I'll show you a picture of the plug that we took a picture of now. It is very light brown, yeah. so that, that does indicate it's a bit yeah. lean. Yeah. So and we'll be doing that in the next video. Very exciting as well. Um, I've spoken to Adrian. I really want to do the porting on the cylinder, the PM tuning. They're designed with a lot of meat on them so we can finish some porting up. Do the porting. I possibly want to put a Molossi piston in there. I've seen some guys talk about the Molossi piston. It's a really good piston. Um, so we do Molossi piston, port, tune, and get this thing to fire up on another level. I want it to really pick up and really like, like and, and I want it to smoke the T-Max as one shot. <laughs> we'll be definitely seeing a T-Max versus Jaleo Runner 180. Yo, seen one or two before, Ooh. but Ooh. nothing like this. I don't yeah, think your scooter yeah. is anything yeah. like theirs, yeah. especially with our ocean air here, that yeah. dense, dense Beautiful. air, the power we can make. So we're super fun to see that next And video. something else that gets me excited, Scooter Swap Shop in the States, they've done, they've maxed out the Jaleo. He's literally, he's tucking it away. He said he's not even going to do any more videos on the scooter. And the one thing he has not done is done porting on the PM tuning, which they kind of almost push you to port that PM tuning head. They give you a lot of meat. So we're going to take this level here way one above a grade of the guys that are in the state. Definitely. So we're really going to push big power on this bike, really get this thing to shoot up and really and drop anything on the road. That's the aim. No, definitely. So if you guys want to see sure. that, links down below for Scooter Swap Shop. And if you want to keep up to date with us, like and subscribe. That will be the best way to be notified about our future videos. Scooter is all together. Just got to put that piece on. That's where we've got into the spark plug cap. Um, and there's the PM tuning head. But what we're going to do now is just put it back together and we'll do the next mods in the next video. All right, guys, that is going to be the end of the video. I do want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you are wanting to keep a lookout for the videos in the future, hit that notification bell. It notifies you guys when we're posting. We try to post every Friday, so look out for that. Again, thank you guys for always commenting. I love engaging with you guys, so keep that up. Check you in the next video. Peace. Bye.